Yeah, Aladdin, maybe put a little hustle in your bustle there. Now we're just kind of dicking around in, um... <laughs> Hello, sir! <laughs> Hello! Hey, uh, shopkeep, I, you made me completely lose track of what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, damn it. You made me lose out on the chess. Fuck you. Hello, magic carpet. Yep, let's... Let's hop on this carpet. Oh shit. <laughs> that's uh that's escalation. You will be slain. I said you will be slain. Slain. There we go. Hi, Dan Castellaneta. You're, you're putting in the work. I appreciate you. Rub it up, dub the lamp, and have your dearest wishes granted. Today's winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm on rush. Just say the word, and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less, or your meal free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine. Oh, hey, we met her. But she's a princess. And I'm... Uh, she could never fall for a guy like me. No, she could. Yeah, we, we switched uh, Goofy with Tarzan, so let's uh, get Aladdin in there. Give him some play while we level up Goofy a bit. <laughs> You know what? This is a very good question. How tall is everybody? Because, yeah, Goofy's not that much taller than Sora, and Aladdin is like... I guess he can... He is man-sized. Let's call him like 5'10", like average height of a dude. Does that mean Sora is like... Four ten, and then Goofy is like five. There's got to be an official height chart somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just now. I'm just thinking about um how tall everybody is, and like I'm thinking about Jack Skellington. Like, how tall is he? Hey, you think we'll you think we'll deal with the what's his face? Like, the, the one shopkeeper that was trying to cut off Jasmine's hand. Be interesting to see what he's up to. It's like, do you know what the penalty is for stealing? And just goes to cut off a woman's hand. Hey, you know what? I have another question. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just full of questions. Um, in the beginning of the game, when we were still on the island, and we were getting attacked by the Heartless, Sora had his wooden sword, and it wasn't doing jack against the, the Heartless. Now, it's assumed that um, because Donald has magic powers and Goofy's sword is like, you know, Goofy's shield, rather, is special like that, I'm assuming that it's also got some kind of weird mystical quality. How come uh, Aladdin's scimitar and Tarzan's spear can do damage against the Heartless? Like, what, what is the criteria for whether or not something damages the Heartless? Is it is it magical? Does it need to be wielded by a hero who's connected to one of the princesses of heart? Is it... Fuck you, magic? I don't know. You know at some point, I need to check uh, the journal. Bound to have some interesting tidbits in it. 
<laughs> Sora! <laughs> what the fuck? Why'd you go in all aggro on it? So Jafar is after Jasmine and this keyhole. Yes. Of course, Genie knows about something magical. D Donald, make eye contact with Genie. You're staring at his Genie junk. Dodged it. He's already got her. Genie, help Jasmine, please. One wish left. You're making this really easy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boy. I'm afraid your second wish has been denied. In what aspect? Oh shit. <laughs> How did you not notice that? I'm sorry, Al. And now, I bid you all farewell. Attack! What the? Everyone fumbled this profoundly. Alright. Before we worry about that, let's worry about these. Ooh, a lot of money. Get back here, you little shit! You gotta gang up on him! Gotta mollywop him! Oh shit. I'm out. Well, I mean, that wasn't too bad. Weird, uh... Oh, cool. Weird pot centipede thing. Oh, fuck. To the desert! Come on, let's move! Bam, your mouth is gigantic! Alright. Let's head out into the desert where I'm sure nothing horrible or catastrophic is going on. You know, it really shouldn't be that easy to get back into the Cave of Wonders. I'm assuming, uh, oh! Hey, buddy! Who disturbs my slumber? The tiger head is being controlled by the Heartless. Um, how do we, what do we do? So, are we able to... Yeah, Goofy, instead of taking it, why didn't you, uh... Yo, I, I took it too. Let me get, let me get back in there. Yeah, we just have to hit Mr. Tiger head in the in the eye for a bit. You have a very severe case of pink eye, sir. All right, son of a bitch. All right, bam! If you could just uh, if you could just bury your face in the sand again. Damn it! Just let me let me get in there. Let me get- fuck. Damn it, I'm trying to- I'm trying to hit you in the eye! There we go. We fixed the Cave of Wonders pink eye! No, but seriously, it should not be this easy to get back into the Cave of Wonders after all the bullshit you need to go through to get the entrance going for the Cave of Wonders. Come on, come on. I love getting corner trapped. You know, it's a good thing you didn't impose the rule of don't touch anything except the lamp. Cave of Wonders. And now this is happening. How the heck do we get over there? Do we need to jump on Big Ball when it comes by? Let's see if we can make that happen. Alright, I should have figured. <laughs> this Aladdin just looked at that Heartless and it exploded.
The Obu is just like in your pants. It's he's clearly not in your vest. He's in your pants. What the fuck is going on, Aladdin? Aladdin, you're in back of him. Hit him. Aladdin. Again, the Cave of Wonders is being pretty lenient with the touch nothing but the lamp policy. I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's a little weird and inconsistent. Yep, damn it. I was trying to jump. I hate when you do that thing where it's like you're... You press the jump button like not even a full millisecond too late. To make it work. Ooh, cutscene. Oh, Genie looks so upset. My first wish, Genie. Show me the key. Boosh! <laughs> Opulent. Yeah, it's a little bad if, um, there's an unconscious 16-year-old next to you. Wait, how old is Jasmine? I don't remember. It's difficult to get my bearings in this place. Mostly because my sense of direction is bad. Nice save, gentlemen. Um, what what was the point of that? Yes, I'm here, but I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out like what what it all means, you know. Ah, so that was the point of what it all means. Hey, puppies! <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me every time. This... Ayo, there's, there's dogs in this box. In this treasure chamber. In this jungle. Wait a second. Are you Maleficent? <laughs> Jafar! Black Jackman, go! How do you know who he is? Crush them! <gasps> Genie? No! Sorry, Al. The one with the lamp calls the shots. I don't have a choice. You can't kill us, though. Yeah, like, I'd, I'd just like to point out he can't kill us. Yeah, y'all, you guys can just go ahead and keep talking. I'll handle it, I guess. Get back here. Get back here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you right in your pointy chin. Yeah, Genie, you seem really excited, happy even, to be participating. Come on, I'm almost there. Come on. Jafar, you will get these hands! There we go. Yes. We served up some hands. Extra crispy. There's more, isn't there? Oh, there's Jasmine. Let's, uh, have a little chat with Jasmine, shall we? Yeah, of course. I want you to make me an all-powerful genie. Didn't even get any input from uh, Aladdin that time. Aladdin basically had to manipulate him into doing that shit.
And this boss fight is weird. We're molly a parrot. Just serving up a fresh can of whoop-ass to Iago right now. Or to the lamp, I, I guess. Wait, was that it? Seriously, was that it? There's no way that was it. There's no way that was it. And she got caught. You see, this is why we shouldn't have left her unattended. Jasmine? Jasmine! We left her unattended. This is all our faults. A deal's a deal, Genie. Now you can go anywhere you want. You're your own master. You can be the best dad Castellaneta you can be. If you could go along if someone had stuck around to give him a hand. Hey, I did my part. I brought the princess, didn't I? Riku, you went to the evil side way too fast. I was beyond help, consumed by his own hatred. One should be aware of letting it burn too fiercely. Maleficent, you are the queen of petty. Whoa. They come, okay? By the way, kid, have we got something special for you? Huh? We had a deal, yes. You help us, and we grant you your wish. Kyrie, go to her. Your vessel is waiting. Hey! Just remember, this is no pleasure cruise. It won't be a pleasant voyage. You're like a son to me. I only want you to be happy. I seriously doubt that. Believe what you wish. But lest we forget, I kept my end of the bargain. Yeah, this... <laughs> okay, like, I'm, I'm staying... I'm keeping my mouth shut during the cutscenes because I want to understand the story because apparently it's going to get very confusing later. But... Okay, okay, so Maleficent has a lot to say about people being consumed with their own hatred. Like, her whole reason for doing what she did during Sleeping Beauty is because she wasn't invited to a birthday party. She declared war on an entire kingdom and basically gave a baby the black spot because she wasn't invited to the baby's birthday party. My god. Well, I mean, she's a she's a villain. Of course, she's going to be a hypocrite, but still. Yeah, and as for the fairies, uh, didn't know how to do things without magic for 16 years. Yeah, how did they keep Aurora alive? Because, like, they barely knew how to cook without magic. Like, were they, yeah, were they just living off of berries and happy thoughts? <laughs>